Hi everybody, 5 Minute Art School. Welcome back. We're going to do a very quick, high level overview of painting mediums today. And some of you probably already know this stuff. Hopefully it's going to be meaningful. I'm going to give a little demo to show you kind of some of the things we're talking about. Basically there's six considerations that I have when it comes to choosing a painting medium. Obviously there's lots of things to consider. The first one that most people think of with painting mediums is drying time. That's why a lot of people use painting mediums, because they want to expedite their oil painting. Uh, another one is viscosity, changing whatever you get out of the tube, or if you're using dry pigment, to something that flows more or less uh, to change its characteristics in handling. Um, another one is the uh, toxicity of certain paints can be mitigated uh, a little bit by adding non-toxic substances, just basically diluting the toxic substance into something that's less toxic. That's a consideration that I have because I'm sensitive to vapors and that's part of why I use rosemary essential oil instead of turpentine, that kind of stuff. Um, something that certain people think about is the archival quality. And it's my understanding from George Hanlon of Natural Pigments and Rublev that any kind of painting medium, any alkyd that's going to speed up the drying process, anything like that is going to over time make your paint film more brittle. I trust George. He's on top of his research. Uh, I mitigate that a little bit in my work by painting on board more than canvas uh, because the board substrate, it uh, it's firm, right? It doesn't flex as much. Therefore, if the paint film is rigid, that alkyds tend to do, then it will crack less over time. We will get into that in a future episode. Leave a comment if that's something you're interested in. Um, Something that kind of goes along with that is the color. Certain painting mediums have more of an amber finish, some have less. Um, generally, I don't find much issue with that, although I have had Gal Kid over time go yellow on me. And the last thing is uh, to put down a Kush painting layer, which we will talk about more in the future in detail, but basically, if you're not familiar with that term, it's a French term, that basically means you're putting oil down on a dried painting surface that you've already let sit, and it uh, refreshes that paint and gives you a more slick surface to paint on top of. So that's about six reasons why we could use painting mediums. I'd be curious if anyone wants to put in the comments how you use it, if it's different than anything I've mentioned already. So let's talk about viscosity real quick. Uh, five minutes is not a long time, is it? So I put together this little chart here of viscosity. Counter to my intuitive thinking, low viscosity means it doesn't flow. Because viscosity means it's a resistance to change. So glass is actually a very low viscosity liquid. Not sure if you knew that. Uh, if you've seen old temper untempered glass you'll notice that it kind of runs over time and on here are some of the things that i wanted to cover today and viscosity is important because it changes how the brush moves and the paint functions over the surface naturally if you have a smooth surface that you're painting onto something that's high viscosity like water or oil is going to be real runny, right? It wants to have that life. That's something I really enjoy. That liveliness, that fluidity is something I gravitate towards. But there's definitely a time when low viscosity, keeping a firm brush mark, you put it down and it stays there. Definitely, definitely a uh, thing we're shooting for. So maybe this is a little too <laughs> visceral, but I wanted to actually just throw down some material onto this board that I took so much time to prepare. So this is linseed oil, and I'm just gonna drop it on here a little bit at a time, and you'll, 
you'll see. I'm going to have to clean up my easel later. Right? High viscosity. Brrr, just runs right down the surface. Um, linseed oil, non-toxic. I'm not sure if you know this. It's the same thing as flaxseed oil that you get at a health food store. It's just a different grade. So let's try Gamblin Galkid. Pretty similar. <laughs> this is not a scientific kind of line here. Uh, Liquid Glaze Natural. This is a product I use a lot of because it's non-toxic. And I love non-toxic things. Um, kind of comparable to Galkid. It's a little bit more jelly. It's flowing <clears throat> a little bit more just because I put a good glot. But you can see it's stopping before it hits the bottom. Now, those dark orange flakes, that's because I have an older bottle and it started to crystallize on me. Um, <clears throat> I tend to go through it quickly enough that it doesn't do that. Uh, this is getting into the gel side. Gamblin has a solvent-free gel. It's a little pricey, but um, very, very useful. And nice and clear, right? You can see the liquid glaze has a bit more of an amber tint to it. And last but not least, Rublev's Impasto Medium is probably the thickest out of the tube stuff. Look at that, it's not going anywhere. It just sits there. <laughs> so you can see here on the continuum, it goes from stiff all the way down to really runny. Obviously, if I had turpentine or something, it would be even more runny than that oil. And we can see the, the transparency changes between all these different elements too. The impasto medium is opaque because it has bentonite clay in it. And I'm going to discuss in the very near future how to add chalk to your painting in order to increase the, the I should say, turn it into low viscosity, but to keep the transparency, which is a really cool thing that I did not understand before. But now I feel like I've turned into this salesman for chalk in painting. My gosh, that was nine minutes. We hardly touched on anything. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here. I hope that was helpful. And please leave a comment. Let me know what you're appreciating about this. If you want me to discuss anything else or more detail on something, that would be great to hear. All right. Thanks. Take care. We'll see you next time.